Let's come back home. The Monetary Policy Committee of Nigeria's Central Bank delivered an unexpected lower rate increase of 25 basis points today at the end of its final meeting for the year. Economists' consensus for today's decision was a 50 basis points increase by the financial regulator. Analysts said the softer rate hike was a signal that the central bank would halt its rate hike cycle at least by mid-year 2025. Here is an excerpt from the CBN governor's post-MPC press statement delivered a few hours ago. The Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, held its 298th meeting on the 25th and 26th of November, 2024, to review recent economic and financial developments, as well as assess the risks to the outlook. All 12 members of the committee were in attendance. Decisions of the MPC. The committee was unanimous in its decision to further tighten policy and thus decided as follows. One, raise the MPR by 25 basis points to 27.50% from 27.25%. Two, retain the asymmetric corridor around the MPR at plus 500 to minus 100 basis points. Three, retain the cash reserve ratio of deposit money banks at 50% and merchant banks at 16%. Four, retain the liquidity ratio at 30%. Considerations. The meeting was held on the backdrop of renewed inflationary pressures as the headline food and corn measures rose year on year in October 2024. The committee was particularly concerned that all three measures also inched up on a month-on-month -month basis, suggesting the persistence of price pressures with attendant adverse impact on income and welfare of citizens. Members, therefore, agreed unanimously to remain focused in addressing price developments. While food prices remain a key contributor to the uptick, members commended the efforts of the federal government for the improved security, especially in the northeast of the country, which would likely improve food production. The committee also noted the role of rising energy prices on the general price level due to its impact on factors of production. The recent increase in the price of premium motor spirit, PMS, has also impacted the cost of production and distribution of food items and manufactured goods. The committee was optimistic that the full deregulation of the downstream subsector of the petroleum industry would eliminate scarcity 
and stabilize price levels in the short to medium term. Members thus reiterated the need to strongly forge ahead with the deepening collaboration between the monetary and fiscal authorities to ensure the achievement of our synchronized objectives of price stability and sustainable growth. The committee noted the improvement in the external sector reflected by the increase in the current account surplus, enhanced remittance and capital inflows, which have impacted the external reserves positively. This, therefore, suggests that key policy measures by both the monetary and fiscal authorities are yielding the desired outcomes. Members, however, express concern over persisting exchange rate pressure, reflecting continued high demand in the market. Consequently, the committee urged the bank to explore measures to boost market liquidity. Members noted with satisfaction the continued resilience and stability of the banking system, despite significant exogenous and endogenous headwinds. Key financial soundness indicators, such as the capital adequacy ratio, CAR, non-performing loan ratio, MPL, liquidity ratio, LR, amongst others, remain strong. The MPC, however, called on the bank to maintain its close surveillance on the banking system to sustain compliance with regulatory threshold and continued health of the industry. The MPC acknowledged the efforts of the bank in deepening financial inclusion towards improving the transmission mechanism of monetary policy to enhance policy effectiveness. From the foregoing, members thus focused on the optimum policy choice to address the uptrend in price development, stabilize the exchange rate, and anchor inflation expectations appropriately. Key developments in the domestic and global economies. Data from the National Bureau of Statistics showed that headline inflation year on year rose to 33.88% in October 2024 from 32.70% in September 2024. All right, in the meantime, now Mauritius, the commercial bank, the oldest and the largest lender on the island of the coast of East Africa, has announced the appointment of Abiodun Aziz as the new representative officer in Nigeria. Aziz is set to strengthen MCB's presence in Nigeria and enhance the engagement with the Nigeria's corporate sector as the Mauritius lender looks to expand beyond oil and gas deals to cover renewable and mining. Let's bring on the MCB Nigeria's new chief, Abiodun Aziz, live here on Arise Exchange. We thank you for coming in on the show tonight. Thank you. And congratulations on your, on your new appointment. Thank you very much. Great. The central bank rates decision is the biggest story. Let's start from there. How do you bite into that? Do you think the rate hike cycle is beginning to, to, to slow down slightly? Yes. Um, I mean, like it, uh, it's been shown, it's below, I mean, the, the hike is be below the expected uh, mm -hmm. rate with uh, 25 bips. I think uh, we're seeing, maybe in my view, we're going, to see, going towards the end of this, the rate hike uh, season. Mm -hmm. 
maybe next year we could see a, a complete stop to rate hike. Maybe, maybe sometime by this time next year we could see. Yeah, maybe by this cuts. time next year, given. Uh, I mean, the impact of this uh, slowdown in the rate hike, mm. obviously, it will be likely to see maybe the stabilization of the rates and possibly, hopefully, a cut. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Maybe. Everyone everyone is waiting for yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone is waiting for a rate cut, at least some, some, some measure of whatever it is. But well, let's get back to the Mauritius Kabai. What's the big deal or connection for MCB uh, from Mauritius and, on, on, the, on the Indian Ocean island with Nigeria? Well, MCB, um, I mean, you've rightly mentioned it's the largest lender already in Mauritius. I mean, largest bank in Mauritius, and um, our international business is quite strong. International business itself is about over maybe sixty percent of our of our business of our balance sheet, and Nigeria being the core market in Africa and international for us is basically Africa. So we're an African bank. International is operating around Africa. Nigeria is a priority market for us, so that's a big deal. That's the reason why, why MCB is Nigeria a priority market. Because <laughs> Nigeria is the, look uh, in terms of the size of the economy, mm. the opportunities mm. in, in the market in Nigeria. MCB sees a, a Nigeria as a key priority for, for us to be in. Mm. We've actually been sort of uh, operating in Nigeria, but you know uh, from Mauritius as a base. But given that um, the business is going stronger and we have higher, we have more intention to do more in Nigeria, mm. it is imperative for us to now come on ground to firstly to our partnership with the, uh, on ground to deepen that and also develop new ones. When we say a representative office, how does that work? The, the rep office is like, a, it's like an antenna, a business development office. Is we look, we, we, we are on ground. We support, uh, we have the main, the mothership is in, in Mauritius, in Port Louis, where the head office is. But the rep office supports the, the different business segments in the, in, the, in the head office to give them intelligence of what is happening in Nigeria, opportunities. And even if there are inquiries about MCB in Nigeria, the rep office is closer to, to the clients. And the rep offices will be able to facilitate the engagement with the, with the, the, the head office at the, in Mauritius. Are there key sectors that MCB is interested in in Nigeria yes. in terms of sector specifics? Yes, MCB has actually been uh, actively engaged in the oil and gas and the financial institution sector. Already in Nigeria, we, we engage with the, with the banks already and the oil and gas sector. We are looking to develop focus on uh, what we call the global international corporates. This global international corporates includes multinationals, regional corporate companies um, with um, with some scale, with turnover, mm -hmm. and uh, that can meet uh, certain criteria. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to develop that. We also have expertise in, uh, like you mentioned, mining. So in, in terms of uh, project finance, power, infrastructure, renewables, uh, we are keen to look at all those opportunities in that space in Nigeria. Oh, very interesting. Uh, but, but the country is currently going through a swath of economic reforms. Um, uh, are, are, are there concerns about how these reforms will, for, for example, exchange rate realignment uh, in terms of a subsidy removal for fuel and a few other things that the government's doing. For example, the, uh, the Finance Act, which has to do with the reform in the tax regime, a tax system for the country. Uh, are some of these, some of what Mauritius, uh, the, the MCB Bank is looking at and say, here, are there opportunities here or are there challenges? for us as an international bank, as a Pan-African bank in Sub-Saharan Africa, looking to uh, get into the economic renaissance, as it were, of, of Africa's most populous economy? Um, we see, I mean, the reforms, we're following the reforms very closely. We see opportunities, of course, we know there are challenges, I mean, in, in uh, of course, there are challenges all over Africa, especially in, this, uh, in the FX situation. So with the reforms, we follow it closely, we see opportunities. We, are, uh, we see ourselves as an African bank positioned uh, reliable to African customers. We see the opportunities in that as the foreign banks exit, we see opportunity for a bank like MCB to come into the market mm -hmm. and fill in, the, fill in that gap. So we, we don't shy away uh, from uh, uh, challenges in Nigeria, but we, we have a strong structuring capabilities um, to be able to ma manage the risk that we see in, in transactions. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just mention MCB is a is a, is, a, is, a, is a dollar bank. I mean, in terms of our balance sheet, we are very strong, long, long in dollar liquidity, mm -hmm. and we're also very strong in, um, in tenors. So these are opportunities where we may be able to plug in the, in the Nigerian market as the reforms go along, because we know Nigeria is focused on 
foreign direct investment, etc., mm. uh, also to into the economy. Um, Mauritius itself is an international financial center, so MCB can channel investments from Mauritius mm. into Nigeria and from also other trade hubs because we have a princess in Dubai, we have in South Africa, we have in Paris, we have. Uh, so in those we can channel investments through uh, into Nigeria mm. uh, itself, and also we have capabilities in what we call um, structure corporate structuring. So in terms of yeah. uh, entities that mm. want to structure in a way that will be tax efficient uh, and more uh, improved governance, Mauritius being an international financial center is also poised to do that. So the reforms is an opportunity for us to. Help facilitate flows into mm. into the country. In terms of financial, in terms of financial syndication, for example, I'm sure MCB was one of the banks that Africans Bank uh, had relationship with in, in Mauritius when it comes to uh, some of the uh, debt instruments that Africans Bank also yeah. uh, uh, float. So, as a global financial uh, services player, tell me more about the MCB as a Pan African lender when it comes to trade, because intra Africa trade is 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 the in thing right now, and everyone is. Is, is uh, logging into that uh, as, as, as the next wave of opportunities, especially for, and you banks are, are at the center of it all as the ones to facilitate payments uh, yes. and, and transactions between businesses within the continent, East Coast, North Coast, Central Africa, East Africa, and, and beyond. So um, MCB is, as you're aware, the, a very, an investment grade retail organization. So it is, we are uh, at sort of an advantage in facilitating trade. Mm -hmm. in, we, we can easily support uh, even the banks uh, in supporting them with uh, lines to facilitate import letters of credit. And also even on the corporate side, yeah. given our rating, our instruments are very well ra highly rated. So in terms of facilitating trade for the importation of raw materials mm -hmm. for uh, the corporates or in for importation of in inputs into the manufacturing process, MCB is poised to do that. And on the export leg as well, mm. we also ability, we are able to support export, the export business. We have our bespoke solutions uh, to, for, for, for that kind of business. So in terms of trade, both in, import and export, MCB has, I mean, firstly, the capability, the capacity to, to support that in, in, within Africa. Like I said earlier, for us, international is mostly Africa. So we, we try and make sure all our business has a leg in Africa. Nigeria is, is the biggest in, in, the, in the West Africa region. So are you looking to see beyond Nigeria for yes, West Africa? Yes, exactly. Africa. Nigeria is the priority market in the, in the Anglophone uh, West Africa. Yes. But Ghana is secondary for us. Mm. So as it were, we'll focus on Ni Nigeria's priority with secondary focus on Ghana. Mm. You know, M Mauritius is also a bilingual uh, country, if you're aware. I mean, most people or most uh, Mauritians speak French and English very frequently. So, so, you're heading, so you're heading to Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. So we are also able to support the Francophone Africa very robustly also. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Do, do, that, that, do you think that will be a, a game changer uh, coming all the way from the Indian Ocean all the way to, to, to West African uh, uh, CFA franc market? Absolutely. Absolutely. We think um, we will we'll make impact uh, in, in that market. Yeah. The foreign lenders are, lead, are, are leaving. Are exiting for reasons best known to them, but we are there to support those those countries. How has the 2024 year been so far for MCB and your operations in the region? It's been very good. Our financial year is, is June, uh, okay. so we we posted our results um, just about a month ago because uh, they released and it's been very good. Mm. So, what will you be bringing to the table for as the uh, chief rep officer for MCB Nigeria? Look, as a Nigerian, I mean, I'm fully vested <laughs> as a Nigerian <laughs> professional. So me, I believe I have a deep understanding of the challenges and the opportunities in Nigeria, mm. first and foremost. Right. And my role is actually to make sure that um, I bridge MTB's capabilities with Nigeria's developmental objective, mm. primarily in the banking and also foreign direct investment. So that's what I will bring to the table. Mm. So are you at some point considering full commercial banking or investment banking license? Uh, we just got now, uh, uh, like you said, we're just on ground now. We'll mm. keep this license as it, as it is now, and we'll see how it goes it's it's, going it's, it's, forward. It's a, it's exactly. A rep, it's a wrap of his license. <laughs> yes, exactly. But, but you, you can do more. Yeah, we can do, basically, um, we are, our um, 
intervention or mm. our activities in the market, we, we, are, we, we, are pro we adopt a collaborative approach. Mm. We complement the local banks, right? Great. Like I said, we mm. are stronger in foreign currency, dollars and euros. We don't want to crowd out the local banks in the local currency. We, we don't, so we believe we co can com complement them. Where we can work in, with, with, with them to do se several things in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. you, so that's the way mm -hmm. we see it. Uh, with for foreign now. currency denominated transactions uh, and all of that. That, that, that's some strength that MCB is bringing from yes, Mauritius. exactly. Rather than competing on the Naira or the Naira Exactly. The Naira that, that's that's, that's why we, we see ourselves as the collaborators with the mm. existing local operators in the market, mm. especially in the banks. So you, wanna, you wouldn't want to fish in their waters? We are collaborators. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank uh, you for your time. Uh, Abdul Aziz, uh, the Chief uh, Representative Officer. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening.